Oh, you got a bunch of weeds, yeah? Is there anything in there, though? <laughs> Dude, what? I hope there's like a bluegill in there. Oh yeah, there is a bat! <laughs> That's something large. What is going on YouTube? Once again, we are ice fishing. My good buddy Ben hit me up and finally, finally, we have safe ice in my region, Southwest Michigan. Oh, you got one on too? Is that a decent one or no? No. That's it, that's it, that's it. That's what we're out here oh, for. Yeah, We've waited. We've gorgeous. waited so long for ice just to catch <laughs> that. <laughs> okay, but yeah, so we are finally in the Southwest Michigan region and we have relatively safe ice, like three to four inches, pretty solid, walked out here and didn't feel like I was gonna die, so that's always key. But we are on the ice and we're actually targeting walleye and crappie today primarily, and hopefully it's gonna be a good day. We're fishing this really steep break and we're kind of waiting for these crappie and these walleye to trickle down the edge here and get into that deeper water, because they probably were up shallow feeding earlier this morning and last night. So hopefully it gets good here in a second, but let's get after it, boys and girls. We have a chance of catching pretty much everything. We're gonna have some tip up set up, all sorts of stuff. So Stay tuned guys, let's get it done. Got one. Very small. Very small, sir. <laughs> Whoa, there we go. There we go. That thing came up the bottom fast, man. Crappie, crappie, son. <laughs> Okay, well guys, I had like probably 20 different marks in the bottom of my hole and all we've been catching so far are little minuscule like, I don't even know, two inch bluegill. And finally, this thing came shooting off the bottom super, super fast, super hard, smoked it immediately, just like you'd want to see it. Well, I saw it like nine, 10 inch crappie, not a giant, but pretty decent one to start the day off for us. So are, are you keeping these or? All right, we're icing them today, boys and girls. She is coming home with us. That's gonna be a nice little fillet right there. Let's see if there's some more down there. Thank God, I was actually recording too. <laughs> Surprised I was after catching freaking two inch bluegill. You think I'd just turn the camera off? I got one, I got one. I was going to put my other jacket on and that thing just came up off the bottom and smoked it. Oh yeah, another crappie. Okay, dude. <laughs> I'm literally getting a little bit chilly out here, guys. I was about to go put my other jacket on, and I was looking over at my graph, saw a giant mark shoot up. My bait was probably like four foot, five foot off the bottom, and that crappie freaking crushed it. Is that, do you want that one? That one's a little bit smaller. Yeah? All right, so yeah, still still a decent one, solidly like eight incher. A little bit smaller than the last one, but we are going places now. We are starting to get on some crappie. We've been out here for like 20, 30 minutes, bouncing around, trying to figure out what was happening, and uh, I'm sitting here in like 23 feet of water. There are like 15 to 20 marks on my screen at all time. And most of them are these tiny, tiny little bluegills. But every once in a while, it seems like one of these decent sized crappies are coming up and smoking the Swedish pimple. So hopefully we stick some really nice ones down here. Uh, our other buddy John just showed up too. He's gonna start set up some more tip ups. We already have a few out there, but there's a chance that we hook into a big pike, big bass, big walleye. Pretty much anything is possible on this lake. It's loaded with almost everything. I'm gonna get my jacket on because I'm starting to get cold and we're gonna try to get some more crappies like that on the ice. So since we are finally starting to get on some fish here and catch some crappie, I'm gonna actually switch up and throw a little minnow head on here. Might be a little bit better for the crappie and the walleye actually too. If a walleye rolls through, they're probably gonna want this a little bit more than that little wax worm on there. So gonna do that, throw a little minnow head on there. Size two Swedish pimple, let's get her back down there. See if we could get on some of these big old jumbo crappie. Oh, here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That might be a walleye. That might be a walleye. That thing came out of nowhere and smoked the life out of it. Oh, yeah, that's a decent, decent something right there. Oh, yeah, dude. Pike, bass, or walleye for sure. I don't want to get super close to you. Yeah, no, that's not that. <laughs> We're on a little sketchy ice, guys. What, what was it? Uh, walleye. Walleye? Oh, oh, oh. Watch that ice, watch that ice. Watch oh that ice. my gosh. <laughs> I've caught very few walleye through the ice in my life, guys. So this will, this is gonna be one of the first for me. I've only caught probably two or three and it was when I was up at Mille Lacs. So we're in Southwest Michigan and we got a pretty decent little walleye on right now. She freaking crushed it too. 
on that pimple with the minnow head. Oh yeah, that's a decent one. Come on, oh, 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 no, 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 no. Oh my gosh, she's thrashing all around. Just come up, just come up, just come up. Yes, yes, sir, yes. That's freaking awesome. <laughs> okay, boys and girls, so we've been out here for less than an hour. We have two nice crappie on the ice, and finally, just stuck my first walleye. And uh, like I was just saying, as I was fighting this thing, I've not caught a ton of walleye through the ice, so that's really, really sick to see this one come up and absolutely crush that Swedish pimple. Nice little size two, tipped it with a tiny little fat head minnow head. And yeah, we're, we're catching them today, boys. It's a pretty solid day out on the ice so far. Nice, like probably 20 inch walleye, would you say? Oh yeah. Give, give or take 20 inches. Really, really solid start to the day. Stay tuned guys, we're gonna catch some more. Literally just a giant red blob shot off the bottom and ate it immediately. Oh, you got one? Yeah. Got a flag, boys. You got a flag. Oh, she's moving. She's moving. Oh, yeah, she is. She's moving a little bit. What are you thinking? Big pike, big walleye, big bass? I don't know. I hope it's a big walleye. Yeah. <laughs> got her? Oh. Got her? No. No? Yeah, she's, she just barely had the head of it. Dang, dude. Yeah. Ah! She'll, she'll probably eat again, though, I bet. I bet that flag will pop up again. Yeah. Okay, so that was the first flag of the day and she didn't seem to have it very good, so she popped off, but we're gonna get another minnow down there and hopefully get some more big fish on flags here in a second. Got him. It's not a big one. Might be another crappie. Yeah, it's another little crappie. Probably like a little five, six inch crappie. Let her go back down the hole. We're looking for like at least an eight plus inch to put on the ice. We don't wanna be keeping those little babies like that. Oh, there you go. There you go. That's gotta be a walleye, huh? I would assume so. <laughs> oh yeah, dude. I saw that. So were you marking nothing then she just came out of nowhere? Yeah, it was like all of a sudden a big, big red mark. <laughs> I don't know if you could slide back a little bit so I can get close. Yeah, I was kinda short. Oh yeah, dude. I just switched to a blue and silver slab wrap. <laughs> that's a walleye. You think it's a walleye? For sure. Big walleye. Big walleye. Big walleye. Oh, 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 she's barely hooked, she's barely hooked. Got her. Yes, sir. Thank you. <laughs> you. Thank you. Yes, welcome, sir, dude. They're like twins, two dude, 20, 21 I inch walleye. I literally just put that on. So that's that's the biggest walleye you ever got through the ice? Oh, for sure. Sweet deal, man. How, how big do you think that one is, like 22, 21? It might be pushing 24. Yeah, yeah, yeah. seriously, it's, it's definitely 20 plus, 22 plus. That's the a solid The biggest one fish. I got through the ice before that is probably 17. Dude, that's awesome. He said he just switched up to this little jigging wrap there and it was like first drop down. Yep, probably four rips, come up and hit it. Heck yeah, dude. Sweet. You got a big mark? Oh, buddy. <laughs> oh, dude, he's got him. He's got him. Let me get your deucer out of here for you. Right. Oh, oh, buddy. <laughs> Dude, it was up like nine foot. <laughs> this one might be a pipe. So that one's super, super suspended on you? Yeah, that one was super high. Oh, there was man. two of them. This is like five minutes after he just caught that big walleye, guys. He just got back down there. He's going home after, too. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. He's on a tear. Another walleye. It is. Is it another walleye? Oh, it's huge. It's huge. <laughs> oh, it's huge. Dude, he was super. Oh, he's oh. no! Right at the hole. No! No! Right. Right. Twice did you, as big did as you see him? How big was he? Yeah, it was huge. It was 30s, 31. You think it was like a 30? Oh, yeah. it's, it's huge. <laughs> what? Oh my gosh, it was a freaking giant, boys. He popped off right at the hole. That was like five minutes after he just had that last one, though. So I think that we might be on him. They might be moving through here right now. So stay tuned. We might hook another giant, but apparently that was like a 30 incher. I didn't get a good look at it, but they all saw it and said it was huge. That's the hardest part. Whew, that sucks. <laughs> you got one? What do you got on there? <laughs> What's going on there, huh? Hey, you pulling it up? You're gonna break that little rod. Oh, you got a bunch of weeds, yeah? 
Is there anything in there though? <laughs> Dude, what? I've never seen this many weeds in my entire life. I hope there's like a bluegill in there. Oh yeah, there is a bass! <laughs> oh my gosh, dude. Literally just dead freaking weight on that little rod. Buried in weeds and it's like a 12 inch bass. Oh, just great. All right, beautiful boys. I'm gonna try to catch a walleye now. Got one. I think it's a nice crappie. If I had to take a wild guess. Yes, sir. Another decent little crappie there. It has been quite a freaking while since we've got bit. Sam had that nice walleye pop off and then probably 10, 15 minutes after that, Ben had that weird thing happen with that little largie. Uh, but it's been pretty dry. It's been pretty dry and I've just been sitting here jigging on all these tiny little marks and finally got one of these little crappie to commit. You got a pair of forceps by chance? Also, do you want this fish? It's so weird how they're being really finicky except this one crushed it right down her throat. Smoked the life out of it. Nice solid little eight inch crappie there. So we are back at the house. I literally tried to film an outro on the water, but it was so cold, I could not formulate words. There's like 30 and 40 mile per hour gusts out here, and it got a little bit chilly out there on the water. But thank you guys so much for watching today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did enjoy it, please hit that subscribe button. It really means a lot to me. We got some pretty solid walleye on the ice. I was super stoked to land that one that I got. I really have not caught that many walleye through the ice in my life. And that was kind of the target species of the day. But then the walleye bite completely faded away into nothing, which, you know, it's kind of typical during the day. I feel like there's gonna be a really good dusk bite, but I had other things I had to do, so I had to get off the water. Uh, we also caught quite a few panfish though as well. So we got some pretty decent crappies, some pretty decent gills. So I really do hope you guys enjoyed today's video. But other than that, I don't really know what else I have in store for you guys, other than I'm about to be leaving for the national championship down in Florida. So we're gonna be doing some more open water, warm water bass fishing we're gonna be fishing for like spawners and maybe even some post spawners down there so really really excited to leave the frozen tundra even though ice fishing can be fun as you guys saw today so thank you guys for watching today's episode and i will catch you guys in the next one